Zoya, Zoya. <laughs> Hi, here, Finns here. I am back for another one of my independent reviews, giving my review of all 37 entries for Eurovision 2024 that will take place in Malmo, Sweden. Next country, it's Spain. Hola. And we have got Nebolosa with the song Zora. So yes, this song. Wow, Spain. I didn't expect you to select this. <laughs> Yes, giving us a bit of a guilty pleasure this year. Um, yes, this is fun. This song is fun. I mean, the song is about a woman, you know, a more mature lady, let's say, um, you know, gets rejected in some places, but she finds there is a crown for her and people give her a chance and sing Zora, Zora. You know, you know, Zora means, well, Slut, basically. A similar word to slut. <laughs> um, so, yes. Um, so, yes. I mean, the song, the meaning of the song, you know, because it's sung in Spanish, English people and people around Europe might not understand the message of the song if they look at the stage, really, because it does look like, oh, let's have fun with the gays, when really the song is really about a woman trying to be accepted. Um at a certain age, uh, where other people don't want to do that, basically. Um, you know, this song is a fun guilty pleasure at the end of the day. It's fun, it's fun, it's fun <laughs> at the end of the day. But it's not very good, I feel like. It's not very good. I mean, I do like this song. My issue is, I don't like the staging. I find it cringe. The problem with the staging is, it just doesn't fit with the meaning of the song. Like, the meaning of the song, as I said before, is about a woman trying to be accepted, you know, into, into, you know, society today where the more mature woman is not accepted to perform and do all these things. But why have you got two men with their bums out? Like, that, it's... It, I know the Nebosa and the whole Spanish team are probably lovely and the whole group with the, the guy and the woman on the drums and the dancers. You know, they're probably all lovely people, but I would say get rid of the guys. Like, do you really? It just doesn't make any sense why they've got their bums out when the song is about empowering women. It makes no sense to me. The music video made more sense with all these more mature women going, doing shimmy like Zora Zora going yay I like that why don't you incorporate that onto the main stage why not have two other women similar to Nair Bossa like maybe mid 50s you know maybe even get away with mid 40s or something like that and like like do some dancing I don't understand why we got these two guys with the asses out makes no sense to me like is the song now about accepting to be in the gay community? I don't understand it. And vocally, though, <laughs> I'm sorry, this woman probably is lovely. Lovely woman, but I'm sorry. Vocally, the song isn't really belting it out, M Mariah Carey, and yet she's still struggling. <laughs> I mean, did you hear her performance at Benidorm Fest? with Nebel, yes, oh, yeah. oh gosh, <laughs> at least she's trying, I bless her, she does give it a good go, but I'm sorry, I mean, it's very hard to judge her vocals at the end of the day, when really the crowd sing louder than her, <laughs> I mean, did you see some of the pre-parties where she just dodged that high note and just gave the microphone to the audience? <laughs> She couldn't even sing it. She didn't even try. <laughs> but no, I mean, this song is a guilty pleasure. It's fun. Um, how well will this do at Eurovision? Of course, as I said, Spain is an automatic qualifier. They will perform in semi-final too, but they don't compete. So how well will they do in the finals? Um, I don't know, because the bookies don't have... Spain that high it's like Spain and Germany out of the big five this year the bookies haven't really got them very high 20 something so that's quite concerning like last couple of years Spain have like at least been in the top 10 with the bookies like this year they're really really low so that's a concern I can't see music experts 
compared to what some good songs we're going to have in the finals this year, I cannot see that many juries ranking Spain in the top 10, considering all the other songs that are more vocally challenging, more current and more radio friendly, at least. I can't see something a bit nostalgic. Well, not nostalgic, a bit dated on the side. Them ranking, like the televote could be high. It could be. Or if there's so many jokey, quirky entries out of the box entries, people might forget about Spain. You know, or might qualify as could be in the semis. They might only give like Spain 20 points. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Yeah, I've got a funny feeling Spain could finish 20-something. I just got this funny feeling the juries aren't going to get behind it. The televote could, but it's a big could. I don't know. I don't know. My score out of 10... Oh, it's a 5.5. I want to rank it higher, but vocally, though, it's not belting it out. And you've got to compare it to other songs this year where we do have artists that do best belt it out. Like Latvia isn't one of my favourite songs this year, but at least with Don's, he really, really is a very more talented singer and really does try. I mean, and yeah, and I still don't like the staging idea. They're probably going to keep it the same because, you know, they're part of the family now. But hey, apparently this did very well in the juries in Benidorm Fest, so I, I I might not be, I don't know who was in the jury in Spain. I don't know if the song's going to translate well outside of Spain. Could this be another hey, 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 a moment again? Who knows? But anyway, comment down below in the comment section below. Like and subscribe this video. I'll be back for more content very soon. Just think goodbye, people. Goodbye. And Zoya, Zoya. <laughs>